Listen to this. Male criminals who identify as females could soon be transferred to women's prisons across the United States. It's a radical new proposal being considered by the US Congress. The so-called Equality Act could follow the lead of even more radical laws in the state of California, which allow male inmates identifying as female to transfer to female prisons, even if they haven't undergone surgery or spent any time living as the opposite sex. For more on this, I'm joined from Canberra by Liberal Senator for Tasmania, Claire Chandler. Claire, it wasn't so long ago we saw a biological male rape female inmates in Newhall Prison in Yorkshire in the UK. Why on earth are we endangering women in the name of equality? Look, I have no p idea, Peter, why we are doing this. It is just outrageous uh, seeing what is happening in some of these prisons. We know, like you say, it's happening in the US, it's happening in the UK. Just last night, I received an email from a women's rights activist in Canada who told me a story about um, a male uh, offender being housed in a women's prison over there, a male sex offender, who then went on to abuse women in prison. So it is frankly unacceptable. Is any of this happening in Australia or, or, you know, is anyone talking about bringing it in into Australia? Look, it, it differs from state to state, Peter. My understanding is that some jurisdictions do have uh, rules and regulations which allow uh, inmates to go to prison uh, based on their gender identity rather than their biological sex. So I think we do need to see some more transparency here and have a bit more understanding of exactly what these numbers are so that we can understand how female prisoners might be at risk in Australia. I'm sorry to, to finish so shortly with you. We, we ran over there with a the doctor. I think it was an important conversation to have, but I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you staying on top of all of this stuff because uh, without you, I don't think women would have such a strong voice in Canberra. Senator Claire Chandler, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Peter.